ridiculous questions are so annoying. I'm not even. I ask questions. I'm a journalist. That's what we do. Demand your MPs meet James Top. The 21st century Terry Fox. Nobody's heard of. Why? Because the mainstream media doesn't want you to know who he is. Why? Because the mainstream media wants you to be divided. Why? Because division causes violence and disorder, and violence and disorder causes profit. Divide and conquer. That's right, divide and conquer. They feign division so that we remain divided. It's time as a people to unite. I'm sorry, ma'am, a peaceful protester comes and they lock the building. This is what our government and our people think about the Constitution and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, somebody exercising their rights must be a danger. Well, the biggest danger is truth. This is why MPs need to meet James Top. This is why we as Canadians need to demand our MPs meet James Top, the 21st century Terry Fox, Nobody's heard of! This is what Section 2 of the Charter's worth these days. Section 2 means you're a criminal! Means you're suspicious! Who cares about the Charter of Rights and Freedoms? Not our government, that's for sure! Not our media, that's for sure! Our media will assault journalists if they don't work for the devil, for the tools of division. Demand your MPs meet James Tuff, the 21st century Terry Fox. Nobody's heard of! Meet James Tuff. Have you heard of James Tuff, sir? The mainstream media doesn't want you to know who he is. I don't know who he is. Yeah, look him up. He's been marching 115 days from... Uh, it's locked. He's been marching 115 days from Victoria, B.C. He'll be in Ottawa on the 22nd and again on the 30th, trying to meet with MPs. He wants reconciliation between the government and its people. He wants to end unconstitutional mandates. And the mainstream media hasn't reported on him. The only thing they'll say about him is that he was charged for speaking out in uniform. A 25-year-plus veteran of the Canadian Armed Forces fired for correctly identifying federal mandates as unconstitutional. Demand your MPs meet James Top. Demand your MPs meet James Top. Go to canadamarches.ca. Canadamarches.ca slash stories to share your story of the past two years. And how the federal mandates have affected you. Ignore the narrative. Ignore politics. Ignore the mainstream media. He's been marching 115 days from Victoria, B.C. He's going to end up in Ottawa on the 30th. He wants to meet MPs on the 22nd. Only 17 of over 300 MPs have committed to meeting James Tom. Demand MPs meet James Tom. Demand reconciliation. Go to CanadaMarches.ca, learn about James Tom and his 130-day walk to Ottawa from Victoria, B.C. that the mainstream media won't tell you about. Demand our MPs meet James Tom. Has anybody heard of James Tom? James Tom? No. Have you heard of James Tom? No, because the media doesn't want you to know who he is. He's only been marching 115 days from Victoria, B.C. to Ottawa. He only wants to reconcile the people of this country with their government. Not newsworthy. No, the mainstream media would never want to report on unity. The mainstream media and politics feign division so that we remain divided. Demand your MPs meet James Toff. Demand your MPs meet James Toff. Sorry. The 21st century Terry Fox nobody's heard of. Yeah, I'm sorry they locked the doors when a peaceful protester shows up. 
That's what the charter means in this country. Have you heard of Charlie Fox? Have you heard of James Cox? Demand your MPs, meet James Tuff. Demand your MPs, meet James Tuff. The 21st century Terry Fox, nobody's heard of. Why? Because the media won't report on him. Why? Because he's trying to unite. Why is that so dangerous? Because peace doesn't sell advertising. Violence sells advertising. Violence ensures profit. They want a violent world so that we remain divided. Division causes violence. Violence causes division. We need to unite. Demand your MP meet James Top. Reconciliation is no big deal. Marching 11 hours a day for four months is no big deal. Nothing newsworthy. Profit and violence. Disorder. This is the goal of governments. To keep us from acting. To keep us from self-actualization, so that we will no longer need government. Anything to say about James Top, sir? I'm trying to look him up. Who is he? Uh, go to CanadaMarches.ca. And if you have a story to, to tell about the past two years, how the mandates have affected you, please leave a story at slash stories. Yeah, he's been marching 115 days and a complete mainstream media blackout. Yeah, I believe that. It's the fucking communist Canadian government. 25 years of service in the military doesn't get you any coverage, I guess. 25 years in the military doesn't get you media exposure, I guess. When you're fired after 25 years for speaking out in uniform, the only thing the media says about you is that you've been charged. You've been charged. You're bad. You've been charged. Who cares that he's been walking 115 days from Victoria, B.C.? He's been charged. He's been charged. He's bad. He wants, he wants to unite the people and repair the relationship with the government. He's been charged. He's bad. Ignore the narratives. Ignore the mainstream media. Ignore the false prophet. Demand your MP. Meet James Top. The 21st century Terry Fox. Nobody's heard of. This is what technocracy looks like. People ask me why am I doing this? This is a prime example. Why am I doing this? Because Government is not accessible to the people. This is the person that came up with the unconstitutional mandates. And what happened? She got promoted to finance minister, deputy PM, because she was willing to subjugate Canadians. Is it not newsworthy to walk across Canada demanding freedom? Is it not newsworthy? See it. Yep. CanadaMarches.ca. They lock it down when a peaceful protester shows up. What? They lock, they lock the building when peaceful protesters show up. Section 2B of the Charter has been criminalized. Section 2B of the Charter has been criminalized. There are no more fundamental freedoms in Canada. We are subjects. We are subjects, not citizens. Subjects. We are subject to rule with no equal protection under the law. The charter is no longer in effect. Demand your MPs meet James Top. If you want to redress your MP whose office is in here, you better have an appointment. It's not open to the public. Your MP's office is not open to you. Ignore the narrative. The government and the media feign division, so we remain divided. They're all in this together. They have their bunkers. Do you have yours? Extreme media doesn't want you to know who he is. Media doesn't want you to know who he is. They don't want you to know that there's a unifying force in Canada. Uh, go to CanadaMarches.ca. I do have a YouTube channel as well, yeah.
Canada Departures PA for James Toff. Leave your story. Demand your MD. Meet James Toff. And if you do it here, you'll have to do it by appointment. That's right. The constituency office is locked to us subjects. Do you know who James Toff is? No, because the media won't tell you who he is. Go to canadamarches.ca slash stories to share your story. The government doesn't know how they've abused you these past years unless you tell them. Go to canadamarches.ca slash stories and tell them. Have your voice heard. Implore, demand your MPs meet Nick's top. Anyone consume news that's not from the false prophet? The mainstream media false prophet? Do you know who James Thompson is, sir? Go to CanadaMarches.ca to learn about James Thompson. Go to CanadaMarches.ca to learn about James Thompson. Unity doesn't sell advertising. Violence and disorder sells advertising. Unity doesn't make you dependent on government. Violence and disorder makes you dependent on government. Demand your MP meet James Todd. The 21st century Terry Fox. Nobody's heard of. 17 out of over 300 MPs have committed to meet him. 17. What a disgrace. Our parliament is a disgrace. Our parliament is a disgrace. And it comes from the Prime Minister's office and the Deputy Prime Minister, whose office isn't even open to the public. The Deputy Prime Minister's office is closed to the public. The Deputy Prime Minister's office is closed to the public. How are we supposed to redress our government when it's closed? Government? Constituency offices are closed, and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms is closed. Because the mainstream media doesn't want you to know who he is, other than he's been charged. He's evil. He's been charged. He's been charged. He walked 115 days for your freedom, and he's been charged. Ignore, ignore the mainstream media. Ignore the narrative. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms is not a crime. Section 2B of the Charter. Section 2, Fundamental Rights is not suspicious. Yet they lock you out. Yet they lock you out. Media companies in this city are happy to assault and intimidate citizen journalists. Because crimes against citizen journalists are committed with impunity across the world. I never thought I'd be standing up for public servants, but here I am in 2022 when the Charter of Rights and Freedoms has been abolished. We have no freedom. We have no rights. We have the freedom to do as they say. We have the freedom to watch the mainstream news and believe their lies. How many people here have been banned on social media because you dare to tell the truth? How many of you have been banned on social media because you dare to question the narrative? Unity doesn't sell advertising. Unity doesn't sell dependence on government. Create the problem and then fix it. And they're your heroes for fixing the problems they cause themselves. He wants reconciliation, but the government and the media only seek to divide, which is why they are ignoring him. Canada, Canadians from coast to coast have stopped on the side of the road to take pictures and give words of encouragement. Does the mainstream media cover it? No. That's not newsworthy. Somebody uniting Can Canadians from coast to coast isn't newsworthy. It doesn't sell advertisement. It doesn't cause dependence on government. Demand our MPs, EJ's talk.
So who's James Top? I haven't seen him on the news. I guess walking 115 days from Victoria to Sunbury isn't newsworthy. I guess speaking out in uniform after 25 years of service in, in the Canadian Armed Forces isn't newsworthy. I guess reconciling Canadians with their government isn't newsworthy. Why isn't it newsworthy? Because it doesn't create violence and disorder. Why is only violence and disorder newsworthy? Because that's what sells advertising, and that's what creates dependence on government. They create the problem just so they can tell you they fixed them. Good job, government. Good job creating the problems and telling us you fixed them. Good job. Marching for freedom. What a bad man. Marching for freedom is bad. Marching for freedom means you've been charged. You've been charged.